I mean, it's been a couple of days already, and I just remember waking up and checking Facebook and seeing the news. Um, and it took me like a couple hours into the day as I kept like seeing more news and like my friends like posting stuff that to realize what had actually happened. Um, so I think that from that moment on, I've been kind of in shock and I've been thinking a lot about who the people who the people who died were and a lot of them now that I've seen their faces right and I can see their names um, they're people who look like me and who look like a lot of my friends so I have this feeling of this embodiment of feeling like my body doesn't belong to me. It's, it's a weird feeling. I've never felt like this before, even though I've lived in this country half my life. And, you know, as a person of color, you know that you could always be targeted as a Mexican immigrant. Um, but this feels very different. And, and it does feel like, you know, my body doesn't belong to me, which is a strange feeling, um, you know, but it's, I think we're all going through collective trauma as a community. And I think that this country does a really good job at not addressing collective trauma. And I feel like this, this could happen again. And, and I feel angry. I hear a lot of people saying that they feel afraid, but I feel angry. I feel angry that this happened. And as a person who's lived here half my life, I feel responsible for what happened.